Jewel. 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 And what sort of horse is Jewel? She's a uh, um, Anglo Arab. Anglo Arab. Okay. So it's an Arab thoroughbred. Cross thoroughbred. Fifty-fifty. Yep. All right. And what does she do when you get to the horse trailer? Um, a lot of the time she'll come up and just stand there. Yep. And then as soon as you go to sort of like take her forward to get on. Yep. She'll go. She'll go backwards. Okay. And Does then she throw her head up and go backwards? Or? Yeah. And then it just gets worse from there. And she there. goes backwards fast? Yeah. And she'll even she'll even go up. And has she had like any traumatic experience no. with the trailer? No. And how long does she take to get on? Usually? Um, oh, an hour. An hour. And what do you do to get her on? Usually sort of get up behind her. Yep. And um, try and get her on. Um, do you or need, using can you do bum rope by yourself, or you no? Need I need need help. A couple of people. Yeah. Um, the last show we went to um, the guy that leads her in the classes. He put her on for me. He just got the bum rope and yep. got her on. For so me. once you've got someone on the front and then a bum rope and then she sort of goes on yep. that way, that could be a bit of a hard thing to do. Mm. All right, let's give you a rub, eh? She's been hand reared by her owner that bred her, so she should be nice to rub. Maybe. Goodness me. Try and rub you with this stick, mate. Some horses, you know, it's not so much with the rubbing. <coughs> and I think this is this horse, like you, you know, you can rub them and they sort of move around a bit, like this one. It's not so much that they don't like being rubbed, because I'm thinking this horse has been brushed a lot, being a show horse. It's more so that they're not trusting the person who's rubbing. So sometimes to be able to get to rub them, um, you've got to move them around first. You know, you want to rub them first up, but sometimes if they don't trust you enough, then they're going to run around. So you're going to have to do some work, some yields, some transitions, some personal space stuff like we do with the, all the horses, and then come back to the rub, you know, with some of the horses. And I reckon this horse might be one of those. So what we'll do is we'll go through some work and go through some yields and then keep revisiting being able to give her a rub. Okay, not too bad. I think we need to work on those transitions. Now we'll just bring her out here. And I'm gonna go long range. See how she goes. It gives her more of a chance to run off. I've got to get some forward in this horse. It hasn't got any forward in it. That's the problem. All it's got is run off. want to get her to pull back again and then I'm going to teach what I'm going to do is I'm going to set her up to that scenario to where she pulls back and I'm going to teach her to come forward off this halter and hopefully not run my camera person over so there's my forward direction bit of a drive from behind if she comes forward she finds release okay she's got a which is a good thing Okay, she's got to realise that forward is where the comfort is, not back, not backwards, or, or sideways, or on top of me. 
That's interesting. Good. And here I've got to get that, that forward in the finish. So she went through between me and the trailer. She rushed off. I did a hind quarter yield and then she sucked back. So I had to make sure she did that forward in there. What we need to do is that she's got this little instinct every time something is too hard it's um, either run backwards or run it over so we've got to get her out of those habits so and we'll keep setting up uh, situations to where she's got to make a decision on it so we'll get her to pull back on it there drive her forward till she finds release she looked at me again she wanted to run me over And this, this is where, you're up. you know, when you're asking them to come to you, it's, it's not through you, <laughs> all right? So you've got your direction on there and you ask them to go. They've got to follow the direction. So make sure when you're doing this, you point your direction out there, not to here. Okay? Otherwise, you might get more horse than what you want. Now, got to be, you know, when they pull back, um, there you don't want to be using your strength trying to hold them okay you go with them until you can get them to come forward don't use your muscles don't lock it down on the ground same as with the other horses that I was talking about um, when you know when you're asking them to go between you know over a flight test uh, over a jump over something you go, you got have eyes in the back of your head so you can see that leg just coming, that foot on the ground just coming towards me, too close to my toe there. Um, yeah, when they're invading your space, um, you know you got to you got to keep that out of there. But don't use don't use any strength on them. Same as when the horse jumps on top of you there. You know, don't lock down and and try and hold it back. You know, bounce off of it. Don't step back and make it easy for them. But also also don't be hard on them. So if they're pulling back. Don't lock down and try and hold them, but don't make it easy for them either. So, you know, you, they drag you along a bit. Don't use them. Try not to use all your muscles. Use your feel and your timing. Move your feet. So here I've got the feel on the rope. When she stops throwing her head, she finds a release comes forward. When she comes in here a bit, she comes in a little bit rude, she comes in a little bit too fast. Okay, now if she did that to another horse, just sort of walk straight up to it like that, other horse probably turn around and uh, tell her off. Here I'm just trying to back her up, she's got to move her feet, not just lean backwards. So she's come into my space, I ask her to back up, all she does is lift her head, not move her feet. So what I've got to do is keep asking until her feet go there. Hey, yeah, see, sometimes your feet come forward too much. And then when I ask you to go backward, you won't go backward? My goodness, you've got your backwards and your forwards mixed up. That's better. No, no, no. So every time she goes between me and that trailer, she just tries to run me over and run off. Just need to get her to walk through this. She can't walk through that gap. She's going to have a bit of trouble walking on the horse flat. There, and after she does that, hind quarter yield, out of my space. Now she switched her back leg there, but it, it wasn't at me. If it was at me, she could have tagged me quite easy there. Okay, babe. Now I'd like to give her, you know, rests, but she's got to try a little bit more. You know, I want her to try something and then rest. So she's starting to get to the stage where I can rest her and give her a chance to relax. But before, she was so anxious, I couldn't even stop to give her a reward because she's so busy looking at her friends, wanting to run off. If I stopped and let her rest, she would have, that's what she would have learnt. So I've got to go till I get something nice and then give her a reward. So I've just got a nice walk through there. I'll just see if I can get another one. Here she's in my space a bit. Try that again. 
Nice and gentle, bro. Gentle. Just got a little bit of feel on the rope. Uh, a lot. There, through the gap. With these horses, it's important that you maintain a little bit of light direction, even when they're going real well. It'll just help them calm a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to... Just trying to finish here for a moment because I thought that walkthrough was all right. But she keeps trying to finish in my space. What you do is important, but not more important than when you quit doing it. Because that's what teaches the horse. One quarter year. Add him a space for your comfort. And teach her that comfort is out there. She doesn't have to jump on me to get comfort. You know, a lot of horses when they're, um, you know, you're brought up and they've got a lot of... Um, <laughs> a lot of horses when they're brought up and they've got a lot of connection, uh, uh, they spend a lot of time with humans, they get into this uh, habit of uh, getting in real close with humans and if something scares them, us humans tend to want to um, comfort the horse and we, we give them hugs and rubs. And what happens after a while is they, every time they get scared, they want to come in close to the, to the human. That's good, four feet. So two on the ramp, two in the trailer. That's even better. Just give her a big rest here. You know, getting those shoulders past this spot here where the, the resistance is, where it gets claustrophobic, getting those shoulders past there is one of the hardest spots. Once you get those two front feet in there, things are on the way up. You've got to be careful in these moments, you know, if, that you don't put pressure on the horse. Okay, so if they're thinking in, you can hurry them up here and put a bit of pressure up here, you know, just tap them on the hind. But if they're getting afraid just in this moment and then you go tap them on the hind, you're actually causing discomfort in the spot where they're supposed to be comfort. So you've got to be really careful of when you, when you use your stick and when you, when you release. Just in that little split second there, I was about to give her a, uh, able to give her a bit of a tap because she was still sort of moving forward a little bit. And it, you, but like I said before, you've got to be careful of that because if you give them a tap and they're thinking about backwards, they'll just go backwards faster. And you see how fast backwards she goes, you know. So we've got to be real careful when doing things like that, that they're um, moving in the direction you want before you. You can only hurry them up with, um, you, you know, with your stick if they're going in the direction you want. If you hurry them up and they're thinking about going in the opposite direction, you're just going to hurry them up away from you. But you'll find that out by trial and error. That's a happy ending.